First of all, many thanks to my Facebook friend Rita Tavares who kindly shared this design. We are going to use five balloons and we twist all bubbles of the same size up to one inch. Inflate each balloon leaving an eight inch flat tail. Twist a chain of 15 red bubbles. We are going to use the chain of 15 red bubbles to make the frame of the harp. I twist all bubbles about a half an inch size. Rita Taveras in her original instructions used 10 balloons uh, and uh, she made very effective and uh, simple to follow instructions. Well, I always use the less possible number of balloons to make sculptures and uh, keep in mind uh, quite often the less number of balloons makes uh, the work rather more complicated. So here we are making uh, the chain of 15 red bubbles uh, to make the frame of the heart. It's very important for this culture to make all bubbles of the same size. Lock both ends of the chain of 15 bubbles in one lock twist. Secure the lock. Cut off the rest of the red balloon and tie off the end. Alright, this part is done. Uh, let's put the red balloon aside for now. Now I'm going to twist a chain of 20 uh, blue bubbles. And there is nothing special about making chain of whatever number of bubbles. That's the reason why I speed up the playtime of this particular step. And now we are going to lock uh, both ends of the chain of 20 blue bubbles in one lock twist. Cut off the rest of the blue balloon and tie off the end. Put the blue balloon aside and let's work uh, with the pink balloon. Twist a chain of 12 pink bubbles. All bubbles of the same size. Lock both ends of the chain of the 12 pink bubbles in one lock twist. Cut off the rest of the pink balloon and tie off the end. Now we twist a chain of 6 white bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of 6 white bubbles in one lock twist. Secure the lock. Twist soft about 3 inch bubble. We are going to cut it later, but now we are twisting in a chain of 6 white bubbles again. Lock both ends uh, of the chain of the last 6 white bubbles in one lock twist. Cut off the rest of the white balloon and tie off the end. Cut the 3 inch white bubble, so we have 2 chains of 6 white bubbles each. Let's twist the chain of 20 yellow bubbles. Yes, we have to make a lot of small bubbles for this sculpture. Lock both ends of the chain of 20 yellow bubbles in one lock twist. Cut off the rest of the yellow balloon and tie off the end. Use scissors to trim the ends. Lock both ends of the chain of 10 yellow bubbles in one lock twist. We have two connected loops of 10 yellow bubbles each. Take two yellow bubbles from each chain and lock them. We have a loop of four bubbles right between two loops of 10 bubbles each. So now we are working with a chain of 12 pink bubbles. Use scissors to trim ends of the pink balloon. 
lock both ends of the chain of six pink bubbles in one lock twist. We have uh, two connected loops of six uh, pink bubbles each. Let's trim the ends of the red balloon. I want to stress your attention on the fact that uh, the front side and the back side of the heart will look exactly the same. Now let's prepare the blue balloon. Lock both ends of the chain of 10 blue bubbles in one lock twist. We have two connected loops of 10 blue bubbles each. Take a chain of 4 blue bubbles from each loop and lock the ends in one lock twist. Now we have a loop of 8 blue bubbles between uh, two loops of uh, 10 blue bubbles each. Yes, sometimes bubbles untwist themselves, so we have to twist them back. So now we are ready to assemble the heart. Let's look at the chain of blue bubbles. There are two big loops. The top loop should have 12 blue bubbles and the bottom loop should have 8 blue bubbles. The lugs uh, between loops stay on the front and the back side of the sculpture. Take the chain of uh, 15 red bubbles, place it inside of the blue balloon, force ends of uh, a chain of 3 red bubbles between the bubbles of blue uh, 8 bubbles loop. Here's the front view and the back view is the same. Now let's fix the top. We force the ends of a chain of 4 red bubbles between the blue uh, 12 bubbles loop. So now we have a chain of 3 red bubbles on the bottom and uh, three chains of uh, four red bubbles each on the top and the sides of the heart. The tension between bubbles, that is what holds the balloons together. And uh, in order to make this sculpture, we have to interlace balloons. So our next step is to place this sculpture inside of the yellow balloon. There are two yellow loops. The bottom has 4 yellow bubbles and the top has 16 yellow bubbles. First we force the very bottom red bubble inside of the yellow 4 bubbles loop. There is a great deal of tension between bubbles. Ok, now we force uh, the ends of uh, a chain of 6 top red bubbles. Here is the bottom view. Yes, uh, we force them inside of the yellow 16 bubbles loop. The yellow balloon is located right below the blue balloon. There is uh, only one red bubble uh, between them on uh, each side of the heart. We also have to force the yellow bubbles uh, between the blue bubbles on the front and uh, on the back side of the heart. That is the front side and this is uh, the back side. I use different colors uh, balloons for this instruction so you can easily count the number of uh, bubbles between uh, intersections. By the way, uh, we are going to use 79 bubbles for this uh, heart and uh, both ends of each bubble have to be interlaced with uh, other bubbles. So it's uh, a lot of work we have to do. Now we're going to fix the pink balloon on the top of the heart. Force and lock uh, the lock of the pink balloon between the two top red bubbles. I see two blue bubbles 
and twist it themselves. So I have to fix them now. All right for now. And now we are going to roll the loop uh, of six pink bubbles over uh, one side of the heart. This way we lock the chain of five red bubbles. And if you start to count the red bubbles from the very top of the heart. Once we lock the fifth uh, red bubble between the pink bubbles, we interlace uh, the rest of the pink bubbles of this uh, loop with uh, yellow and uh, blue bubbles accordingly. Ok, we done with one side of the heart. Now we proceed in the same way with the second uh, loop of six pink bubbles on the other side of the heart. Roll the loop of six pink bubbles over the side of the heart. Here we lock the end of the chain of five red bubbles, uh, counting the red bubbles from the top of the heart. Then we interlock the pink bubbles with the blue and uh, the yellow bubbles on the front and the back side of the heart. Our sculpture already shaped well as a heart. There are two more white loops left to complete this sculpture. Just be patient and um, take your time when you interlace the bubbles. Both sides of the heart should be symmetrical and remember the front side and the back side looks exactly the same. There are a lot of bubbles to interlace. Oops. Well, the heart looks okay now. I want to bring your attention that this is a hollow sculpture. It means that you can hide some uh, goodies inside of the heart uh, while you are making it. Let's use scissors to trim the ends of the white balloon. Here we have uh, two separate uh, loops of uh, six uh, white bubbles each. Now we are going to roll one loop of uh, six white bubbles over one side of the heart. We have to lock the chain of three red uh, bubbles between the white bubbles. Stretch the white loop and roll it. The chain of the three red uh, bubbles is the second, the third and the fourth red bubbles uh, counting from the very top of the heart. And again we have to interlock uh, the white bubbles with the blue and with the yellow bubbles on the front side and on the back side of the heart. Certainly, interlocking bubbles is a very time-consuming process. Though, at the end, you will get very nice and durable sculpture. You can use it as a decoration and it looks uh, very attractive in the photos. When I said uh, durable sculpture, I mean you can literally sit on top of the sculpture. Most likely, it may not pop. Now we are going to fix the last, finally the last uh, loop of six white bubbles uh, on the other side of the heart. We do it in the same way as uh, we done the previous um, loop of six white bubbles. Roll the loop of the six white bubbles over the side of the heart. Lock the ends of the chain of 
three red bubbles between uh, the white bubbles. We count the second, the third and the fourth red bubbles from the top of the heart. And uh, interlock the white bubbles with the uh, blue and the yellow bubbles on the front and uh, on the back side of the heart. Congratulations! We have made the heart! Here's the bottom view, uh, the top view, and this uh, side view. Have fun and happy twisting!